So Anbernic actually released Android 11 for the RG552, but it may not be all that in a bag of chips. Let's talk about that. Hello and welcome to Modern Broadcast. Now let's talk about some retro handheld gaming. Android 11 has come to the 552 handheld and has added several features while others were stripped away. In today's video, I'll be going over the new features of Android 11 and showing you how to downgrade the firmware back to the older Android. Alright, here we have the device running the new Android 11. As you can see, there doesn't appear to be a Google Play Store. So we're back to good old sideloading of apps again. With Android 11 on the device, we should be able to control the fan speed, CPU overclocking, on-screen button mapping for Android gaming, and better emulation support with the addition of PlayStation 2. Eh, we'll, we'll see about that. Starting things off, let's uh, go ahead and pull this down and mess with the fans. So looks like we got strong, auto, stop, so we can make the fan completely silent and not run and a cool setting, which will kind of just be intermediate. For CPU, we have high mode, over lock mode, which I assume is supposed to be over clock, um, over lock high mode, which is great for emulation and back to auto mode. Now, if we click on the key mapping button, oh, let me try that again, there we go. And so now we have all of our uh, controller buttons on the screen here, and we can move these around and place them. This is great for games that don't support uh, controllers natively. And then when you push that button, it will be as if you're pushing that part of the screen. All right, moving on over, I'm testing out PlayStation 2 emulation. This is Dragon Ball Z Budokai Taichi 2. Um, I'm using the emulator Play. I sideloaded it onto the system. And right away we have some audio stuttering. So this part's not running too terrible. Um, it's not that bad. We definitely still have that audio kind of popping and stuttering, but so far, I mean, we're, right now we're just in menus. We'll see how actual gameplay is. Oh, boy. This is a long loading screen. Huh, well, it uh, might be broken. Let's uh, get the fan on. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh no! What happened to Goku? Oh man! Okay. Oh 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 oh! We're fighting. We're moving. Oh oh! This is awful. This is taking as long as a real Dragon Ball Z episode for the fight to begin. <laughs> Oh no, he locked on. I don't know how to lock on. <laughs> oh no. I can't. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ha-ha! <laughs> oh god. Oh, this is just horrible. I don't even know what the frame rate is right now. All right, well, that's not playable. Ninja. All right, let's pop over to uh, some GameCube. This is Luigi's Mansion. And so far, I do got to say this is playing smoother than on the older Android version. And it looks like the black square that kept popping up. Um, 
and the older version is not happening here. Let's go ahead and uh, get into some gameplay. Oh, there's some stutter. Oh, and our black square is back. Okay. Looks like uh, we are currently at uh, 14 frames. I feel like I'm watching the slowed down home network right now. Uh, you know, look at the chandelier. So great. And uh, the spooky mansion. Wow. Oof. It's a little slow. Okay. <laughs> All right, walking around is uh, a bit slowed down, but uh, I mean, the audio sounds like it's okay. Like it's keeping up, which is kind of odd. I bet you this cutscene's gonna be really slow. <laughs> Ever so gently try to open the door. Flashlight seems to be working. It is better, but, uh, it's still just not there. Alright, so if you want to downgrade your RG552, um, what you're going to need is that, uh, SD disk tool. Um, this is version 1.69. I'll have a link for Android 11 firmware, and I'll also include firmware, uh, for the old Android, um, I guess firmware <laughs> in, in the in the description down below. So let's go ahead and open this up and we're going to go ahead and open up the .exe. Or actually before I do that, I'm going to plug in uh, my micro SD card. Make sure, make sure, make sure to use a blank micro SD card for this. Do not wipe your Linux operating system. Do not wipe your game um, micro SD card. Have a different micro SD card and wipe that. Uh, so this is just a little 16 gig um, SD card that I have here. So let's go ahead and open this up. You can see it here. So right now I have the box upgrade firmware. So this file right here, this is the old Android firmware. So uh, choose the firmware that we want. We want to click here, right here on the desktop, hit open. And we're going to click create. Creating the disk, you'll lose everything, okay? Yes. It'll start doing this here. This does take a few moments, so don't panic. Once it is done, we'll plug that into our um, RG552 and boot it up. All right, so once that's done, this will pop up as creating upgrade disk. OK, just say all right. And then we want to eject this and put it into TF1 slot of our Anbernic device. Here's our RG552, so take our memory card that we just flashed that firmware to, and we're going to install it on the TF1 slot, which is on the left side of the device, right here, and push that in. Once that's installed, let's go ahead and boot up the device. We've got the Ambernic logo, and it will start a very long process of installing the firmware, or downgrading the firmware if you already have Android 11. Again, this process takes time. I think for the downgrade, it took probably about 20 minutes when I downgraded mine. Um, the upgrade, if you decide to go that route, is about 12 minutes to upgrade it. Um, but just let it run its course. And at the end, it'll prompt us to eject the SD card and it will reboot. All right, so here it is finishing up and we'll go ahead and just eject the micro SD card while it's still on and it will reboot. And you'll have a downgraded system or upgraded system, depending on which way you went. 
Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please consider leaving a like and subscribe. I'll have links down in the description of everything that we went over today. Also, please join the Discord. It's a great place to hang out, talk, and maybe suggest some future videos. The store has now been revised. Visit station622.com for merch. Take care.